Does your child have the basic tools necessary to succeed in school? This is one thing, one bare minimum requirement they must be able to do to know that they have the toolbox to be able to succeed in school. So what you'll have your child do is you're going to have them just stand up in the room and you're gonna have them put their feet together, you're going to have them close their eyes, and then you're going to tilt their head back. And you're going to see if they can balance steadily like this. And then you're going to tilt their head forward and with their eyes still closed, you're going to see if they can balance like this. And you can go back and forth a couple times, tilting their head back, looking, tilting their head forward, looking. And what you're seeing is if they have a lot of excessive swaying back and forth when they do that. Also, make sure you're standing very close to them. In case they do actually fall, you want to be able to catch them. But this is one requirement that they should be able to do to know that they have the tools necessary to succeed in school. All right, so what we were testing for there is the tonic labyrinthine reflex. It's abbreviated TLR. And what we're seeing, if they had a lot of swaying back and forth when they were doing that test, it's most likely that their vestibular system is a little bit underdeveloped. So if, if your child has an inability to do just kind of like simple balancing tasks, that's related to having an inability to focus and sustain attention on a task like in school. So if your child had trouble with that task, download our new worksheet. It's called the four bare minimum functional test your child must be able to do for basic school success. So in this worksheet, we talk more uh, about how the vestibular system affects their ability to succeed in school and uh, affects them with things like reading and concentrating and focusing and things like that.